Hey there Marvel fans, MVS Cosplay here, and today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Retro Series Spider-Man from the 90s. Well, even though this character did not show up in the 90s series, we got a Marvel Legends figure of Gwen Stacy. Finally! <laughs> um, if you grew up in the 90s, such as myself, um, this packaging would look very familiar to you as with the many 90s Spider-Man animated series cartoon toys did came with pretty much this packaging here pretty simple character illustration here on the side um, and as you can see let's go over the accessories now anyway because this is a pretty much a clear window <laughs> um, I got a midtown high accessory here a rolled up daily bugle newspaper um, this is, oh, this is just a three ring binder. We'll take a look at that later because you can't really take a look at it now. Um, it does come with a Mary Jane Watson head, but I am not going to be using this at all because MJ never wore this outfit. And the green coat and purple skirt combo is infamously uh, connected to Gwen, uh, Gwen's death way back then in the days of spider-man comics at the hands of green goblin as well as spider-man sadly so yeah not gonna use this ever probably just gonna save it for um another probably for a custom figure but let's take a look at the back here got other figures in the line spidey electro peter green goblin and 90s armored daredevil um, there's a little bio for Gwen if you want to read that pause it right now and Without further ado, let's take her out of the box and see what she can do and Here we have Gwen Stacy out of the box and looking pretty good um, the Sweater it's cool that they have sculpted texture there to make it look like it. I believe It's supposed to be wool. That's what it's supposed. That's what it's looking like with the the, the fabric look as but um the skirt and the trench coat are a soft plastic really pretty decent oh man this is oh wow this is bad look at this the plastic here is cracked that is pretty bad that's some pretty bad qc issues right there like i could give like simple things like paint scuffing a, a pass, but that's really bad. Wow. I've never had this much of a quality control issue on a figure before. That is bizarre. Right out of the packaging. And this was, I can't believe I didn't notice this when I got the figure in hand before popping this thing out, out of the box. Huh. Anyways. Now, articulation is pretty standard. It's a it's a Marvel Legends figure, so not really too much to expect. We have a ball joint in the neck as well as, as a hinge, so she can look down, up, left to right, of course. The arms can go up this much and rotate. Single jointed elbow, hinge at the wrists, and they can rotate. The legs can go this far. Not sure why the left one is not going anywhere, but I'm not going to force it because... Oh! Strange. Compared to this side, which has a cut, so it could have a bit of a wider stance, there's nothing on this side. Hmm. Leg Legs are pretty much just hindered because of the skirt. Um, double jointed knees. So there's that. Um, the ankle joints are pretty weak, actually. So that's that's much that's a big downer, especially because for me, I don't really have figure stands for six-inch scale figures. Accessories: we have her uh, folder here. From the look of it, it, it actually is a three-ring binder. Wow. The Daily Bugle newspaper. Uh, focus, please. There we go. So there's that. I thought it was just a just a plain cylinder of plastic, but they actually got 
made it look like it's rolled up paper. So that's pretty cool. And a Midtown High School uh, book. Uh, probably just a notepad. But um, The hand here, she can't really grab anything. <laughs> and this one is most likely just to use for the uh, newspaper. But <laughs> there we go. Yeah, pretty much that. But let's see. I think I'm most likely going to display her with the Midtown High School um, book. Because Gwen was always a total bookworm. Come on. There we go. That's that. So there is Gwen Stacy. And... Since we're talking about Gwen Stacy and Spider-Man, just for a height comparison, I'm going to bring in my amazing Spider-Man 1, Andrew Garfield, Marvel Legends figure. And because this figure is from way back in 2012, they, huh, they pretty much look like they are to scale. Well, except the Spidey head should be a little bit bigger, but... Besides that, um, these two look really great together, um, especially if since there is no Gwen Stacy Emma Stone figure anywhere. Um, these two are pretty much perfect together. If you don't have this one, um, good luck. You could try eBay or uh, any uh, social media platform, like even Facebook. Just go on Marketplace and try to type in Amazing Spider-Man figure, and you're probably bound to find this guy. But uh, for Gwen, I got her off entertainmentearth.com. I will leave the link in the description below. So if you want to get one, you can head down over there. All right, guys. This has been MVS Cosplay. And this has been a review of the Marvel Legends Retro Series Spider-Man Gwen Stacy figure. There she is next to Andrew Garfield's Spidey. All right, guys. Uh, see you at the next review.